21 and a half. 40 and a half is center. Probably the center of the window. So basically we'll have a, a one foot floor to ceiling closet. And then this section, this will be centered. So this is about center right there. And then the sink will be here. And then I really feel like we're going to have a com composting toilet that can mainly be in the shower area and then can be picked up and moved when anybody showers. So we're still rustic. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, today we're trying to at least place, draw where these windows are going to go, um, get them set. We've already got most of the sliding glass door cut. Um, but I think we're going to work on creating the frames, setting where these go. We've got this window and we've got the bedroom window in the back, which is another huge window. Um, so that's what we're doing today. I personally don't feel well, so probably going to get just a lot of music. <laughs> but these are the windows that we have. These are windows that, uh, we're reusing that were taken out of somebody else's house. Um, so I know this is fairly large for a bathroom window, but we are out in the middle of nowhere and who cares? It gives us natural light to put makeup on <laughs> when we want to be girls. <laughs> this is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the night And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to fall This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon and the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my Tomorrow there's no time for
there's no time to borrow today. Well, something this is about a half inch bigger than the window, so it'll be a quarter of an inch all the way around. And we'll spray that with spray foam. We're gonna do that on the other ones too, spray foam around. But I'm not gonna spray foam around until we have all of the windows done so that we can use all of the cans up. We just don't have a, a space to keep them warm all the time. So I know it worries some of you guys that we're not spray foaming and all of that kind of stuff as you normally would, but I can't start a can and then have it last. I have to use that can all the way. So that's why. Fingers are getting chilly. Ooh, that wants to wiggle. Oh, weren't you holding it? <laughs> I thought you were holding it. Guys, all right, let's see what those measurements are. It's gonna be nice having that this light compared to what we've got right now. <laughs> okay, a little bit over 30. Right at 36. So I think that's the actual window. So now we need to add uh, the one and a half inch um, second line all the way around. And that will be our cut line. I'm actually not going to mark the second line so we don't make the same mistake we made over there, which is cutting the wrong line. <laughs> yeah, because we don't want to accidentally get it any closer to the slit the sliding glass door. Exactly. Because we still have a wall to put up there too. Exactly. So frame for both and a wall. Yeah, so this is basically all going to be framing lumber to hold all of that in because by the time you add the one and a half inch here, the one and a half inch here, and then there'll be a wall. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So. Okay, so now we just mark the one and a half inch, and this line will give us what our frame, the first frame that frames all the way around the window will be. So that's what this line is going to give us, which really you just take the 36, you add three inches, you take the 30 at three inches, and that'll give you that two.
Okay, so that's way too high. Why is that one up? Goes up. When I measured my. Inch and a half over here, but it's not over here. Level though with that. The one thing about this one it can actually be a little bit more than an inch and a half because we're sandwiching that other board, which can be shifted, which can give you the perfect level. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just make this a little bit bigger, and then we have that playroom. If it's too short, we don't have that playroom. So I think I'm going to just drop this down a little bit more because then that'll give me a more level line See, that puts it right at it but it puts that super low weird i mean there's no way those other lines are not right <laughs> no wait no, wait. Whatever. I don't have it. It's bowed out right here. So that's what's ready. That makes it a little bit longer. That makes this a whole lot longer, but then we also have a tiny bit of little room. We actually have an inch of wiggle room. I think that might be it. That makes me wonder if this was crooked, the actual window was crooked. Pick a line, pick, pick a, a line. line. <laughs> as they say, clear as mud.
So that's kind of a problem because we have it poofed out on a pump and then it's on the inside of the pump and you really want to make those equal. So we may shift that. We could get it to that. Either way, it's going to... That's the window space. So you have an inch and a half your frame. That's going to put you. You want the sandwich part to land on this, because then it can easily, either on this or on the inside. So if I shift it, three and a half inches. And that will put it. See, it will change. It's not as big of a deal on the inside, but it's a really big deal on the outside because you'll change the look of your frame and it'll look weird. But we're kind of hitting this. We may not have an option. Because we're on an inside hump and an outside hump. I guess it would be inside, outside on these ends. And so this frame would end up out here. What's going on, Grace? Can you get my coat? <laughs> So we're still on the in and out. Maybe if I shift it over a little bit, I can end up on an in and an in. Wow. <laughs> she knows how to make an entrance. I'm telling you. <laughs> There's an elephant in the room. <laughs> and her name isn't Grace. <laughs> She's like Chloe. <laughs> Here comes a 200 pound dog. Nope. <laughs> you just see it come around the corner. You're just like looking up and you look down. Exactly. Like, <laughs> so if I scooch all of this over, then at least the sandwich part. Would, could be on these same humps, these in humps. And by sandwich, she's not talking about food. No food, no <laughs> snacky snacks. So that would just be shifting it that direction. And then you'd see different parts of the casing window on the, on the outside. So that would, that would give, that's what it needs to do. So I think I need to go over, but I can cut on, I can scoot it over a little bit and then, and then my sandwich part will squish in is what will end up happening. So that'll work out fine. So we're still going to cut here. Um, can you hand me the level? There's one on this side of the, the one that's right here by my foot. Okay. I got it. <laughs> then our sandwich two by six can scooch over to that point to give us the perfect square. So that gives us a full flat piece, which is what we really, really want. <laughs> All right. Figure out my height up here. Oh, her. Ah. She should be named Grace. 
<laughs> Where's my line? Right there. Don't anybody tickle Kira. She's really ticklish. <laughs> she would drop her phone. <laughs> and then go for your hands. <laughs> she loves it when I do it to her in the house. In the loves RV. it. She loves it. Loves it. <laughs> I've been taking stink eye lessons from Chloe. <laughs> Chloe's the corgi, for those that don't know. Now we'll measure down. This is the window. Move back to the wall. Oh, shush. Can't see those. <laughs> I just asked the question. So that would be the window to window. And that would be the wall to the wall. To the wall to the wall. Because <laughs> we like us some Betty White. <laughs> Let's see. So then we go down an inch and a half is our cut line. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Pretty terrible. That'll give us um, the wooden frame on the inside of this and the window set in there and then another wooden frame on the outside that's sandwiched in. And I'll show you this other window um, so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the other video, I'll link that below or above or here or there or who knows where, but you can go watch that actual video of so us putting that window in. So this top board goes completely through. It's a solid piece and the bottom board has been cut to scribed to the, the metal, uh, curves in the metal. And so it's sandwiched. And then we do need to go back on this one and add um, the second piece of lumber right there that will sandwich from the inside to the outside. Um, and then we'll spray foam all the way around it and continue on with our pink insulation and also put on the outside, uh, we'll end up putting our trim work. It'll cover all of this, so it'll be a solid piece. Um, and we'll, like I said, spray foam all the way around it and it'll be sealed up and it'll work perfect. So I'm really excited how this went in. This is a very good method for those of us that do not weld. Um, I don't weld. Hopefully next year I'll be able to weld, but this year I don't. <laughs> so this was a way that, that we could do it ourselves without hiring someone to come out um, and do it. Even though Randy said he knows how to weld and he would have welded these for us. <laughs> we didn't know that when we started. <laughs> uh, but this is a way that we could DIY it and not have to hire it out. So, you know, we'll come back in here with our, our windowsill boards and finish it all out and it'll look great. So, I want to thank you for watching today's video where we laid out where our next couple of windows are going to be. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did and you're not subscribed, I, uh, you need to subscribe because we're fun. Today I'm just sick. <laughs> but 
We're up here, uh, us all female build, build team. <laughs> Learning up here in Northern Idaho on 73 acres. Um, off grid DIY shipping container build. And we really hope you've enjoyed the video. So good night. Good night. Room. Hold on, I just messed up the thing by moving my foot. Like that. You might have to <laughs> re-say that. Basically. Which part? This will be basically this will be the okay. okay. To give us the perfect square. So that gives us a whole flat piece, which is what we really want. <laughs> I can't sing that. <laughs> You can't sing that. Just suck all the fun out of everything. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs>